Hello, Daniels here. Now, as you may know, next to each Udemy lecture, I attach a project source code. And in this tutorial, I would like to show you how to import projects into Eclipse. So you'll be able to download a project that is associated with a Udemy lecture and then import that project into Eclipse. So let's say you went on Udemy you downloaded the zip file of the project and then you extracted the folder that's inside the zip file to a location on your hard drive. Okay, so you got the project folder extracted and let's now see how to import it successfully into Eclipse. So let's go to File, Import, select General, then select existing projects into workspace, click next, click browse. Here I'm going to select some project. The details of which project I'm selecting is irrelevant here. I just want to show you how to import and whichever project it may be, the process to import it into Eclipse is the same. So the, pro the particular project I'm selecting is irrelevant. Just the way I'm importing into Eclipse is the important part to pay attention to, the way I'm importing the project into Eclipse. So let's say I want to import JPA9. I'm going to click on JPA9, click OK. Make sure the project is checked mark and click Finish. Now we have to do several steps next. The first thing we need to do to make sure that this project is actually going to work is right click, go to properties, and once we are in properties, then we have to select Java build path. And as we can see, when we select the Java build path, after we imported the project, it's complaining that the JDK is not found. The JDK, because your JDK is at a different place on your computer than my JDK. So we need to bind a JDK to the project. Here's how we're going to do it. Let's click on the Libraries tab, and you see it says the GRE system library is unbound. Here, what we need to do is click on the GRE system library, then click Edit. And now we're given an opportunity to select an alternative GRE. So let's select our JDK. This is the JDK we configured with, we configured with Eclipse and click Finish. Now it's happy. Now we, we have a JDK that is, bound, that is bound to the project, that is on the build path of the project. We have this JDK and we can click OK. The project now should work. Another thing that you can actually do is go to properties again and search for run. And here we go. We have targeted run times. And make sure that the Glassfish 4 target run time is selected. And make sure indeed that you have the Glassfish server here installed. We rem remember we configured and installed the Glassfish server in the previous tutorial, but that's about it. So as long as the target runtime is pointing to Glassfish and it's selected, and you have of course the Glassfish server installed and configured in Eclipse, and if we go to build path. Java build path in the libraries, you make sure that you have the the JRE system library pointing to the JDK that you configured with your own Eclipse. You should be okay and the project should work and you should be able to de deploy and run the project on your system. There we go. That's how we import a project into Eclipse. Thank you very much. And we'll and we will continue in the next tutorial.